Everybody knows that medicine is in huge trouble. If you just look at premiums, they've about doubled over the last 10 years. In fact, it's gotten so bad that to insure a family for medical insurance premiums, it is now over $20,000 a year. Now please think about that. That means that you're paying $20,000 a year to medically insure your family. But that doesn't get you any health care. You then have to pay all of your co-pays, the thing that you pay when you go into the doctor's office before you even be, are seen. And you also have to pay the deductible. Now the deductible is the thing, the amount of money that you have to pay that comes out of your pocket before your insurance kicks in. So for families, on average, over $20,000 a year for premiums. Doesn't even include the co-pays doesn't include the deductibles. The deductibles, by the way, have about doubled in the last 10 years as well. It's a huge problem. And so families who actually need medical care, it's not uncommon for them to spend twenty-five dollars or $30,000 out of their own pocket before they're allowed to use any of their insurance. It's bankrupting people. Now there's all sorts of statistics out there about how many people go through bankruptcies in this country due to medical reasons. 500,000 people? That might be a bit high, but the number is definitely above 200,000 people every year in the United States who undergo medical bankruptcy. It's a huge problem. It's the only developed country on the planet that even has a category of medical bankruptcy. It just doesn't happen other places. The richest country that's ever graced this planet does not have a handle on the healthcare. It has to change. Now, one of the big reasons for this is that when people go to the hospital, the prices at the hospital are so variable based off of the contracts they're able to negotiate with private payers that people often end up paying two and a half times as much for hospital care when they have private insurance than they would if they had Medicare. Now, Medicare is insurance for the elderly, people above 65 years of age, and it's a government-sponsored program. And so when you go into the hospital as a Medicare patient, they pay about two and a half times less for the exact same service that people who are younger, who are on private plans like Aetna or Cigna or Humana or any of these, I'm not picking on any of them, I'm just giving you examples, that they would pay. And now that deductibles have more than doubled over the last 10 years, that means a lot of that money is coming out of your pocket for the exact same thing. See, the other problem is, is that you have no idea what things cost. Things have gotten so complicated that it is not a free market anymore. You go to the hospital with a broken arm and you need it fixed, you have absolutely no idea what your insurance has negotiated with that hospital. You have no idea that you're going to be paying two and a half times as much than you would if you had Medicare insurance. You have no idea when your insurance is going to kick in. If you're even in network or out of network, you've got a broken arm and you've got to get it fixed. The system right now is set up to be horribly inefficient and amazingly profitable for the corporations. I am not against having profit for the corporations. I am against having profit for the corporations when it means that you are going bankrupt for getting basic medical needs covered. We need a system in this country where you know what things cost and you know if you go to place A or place B in an emergency, it's going to be the same price for the same service. What we have now is insane. It has to stop. There's multiple different ways of getting there. But from a fiscally conservative point of view, we need a free market. And free market means try, uh, excuse me, free market means price and rule transparency. We also need to do the socially responsible thing so that when your arm is broken, you can get it fixed without going medically bankrupt so that you can work on your own again. 
That solution is one set of rules, one set of prices. I read a study from the Rand Institute just this last week that said there would be a $19 billion savings in healthcare costs if all the hospitals had the same prices and the same rules. Other studies point to $6 billion savings. I don't really know where that number is, but I know it's billions and billions of dollars. And I know more importantly, it will help you have security that you need when you need medical care. It will create a free market. It'll create a platform for social justice. And it's something that you and I, we should demand. To learn more Common Sense Solutions, to learn how you can personally get involved, and to be the change you wish to see in the world, subscribe to this channel, and we'll let you know when new videos are out. Please also check out the book I wrote, Universal Death Care, a solution for healthcare in the age of entitlement.